Hello, this is Brother Joseph. I want to talk to you today about a song, a song by uh, Oliver Anthony called The Rich Men North of Richmond. Uh, it's become very popular and it's raining. Um, I listened to it and heard a lot of chatter about it and uh, a lot of people saying to listen to it and so I checked it out and wow. Uh, well-written song, uh, well-performed. Um, just a guy <laughs> in the woods with his dogs uh, singing a song. Just him and his guitar singing a song. Got a the raindrop there, but um, but yeah, the um, it's a, um, it's a good song, a good lament, and I like these kind of songs. What I like about them is this: they set up the gospel because the lament is about something real, a suffering of life. Life isn't fair, and uh, something is happening that is lament worthy. Um, and music is a great way to communicate these kinds of things, and I, I, I greatly appreciate good music uh, being used to communicate these kind of things. So, the only thing missing from these laments, which is, is fine, is the gospel. The gospel as the answer. Christ gave us the answer when these troubles come, and in this song it's the trouble of uh, the elite taking and, and taking advantage of all kinds of things. The, the money system. That's something we know, for sure. Um, taking advantage of the laws, writing them in their favor. But these, these advantages uh, by the rich men has been happening since the fall. And how does the gospel answer that? Well, it answers it with the cross. The cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the answer to to these problems. That's the answer to the oppression of the rich men, north of rich men, um, the gospel. Jesus doesn't take us out of suffering. He teaches us how to deal with suffering. He teaches us that suffering is redemptive. That's what he does. And one of the things he does is he gives us hope hope in the resurrection of the dead, hope that there will be a final judgment, that justice will come then. In the meantime, what is our job? Is to share the gospel, to do what Christ did. You know, he incarnated himself into human flesh. God came, he incarnated himself into human flesh to share, to share the message of the gospel to us. And he passed that on to us to share with others the same message. That if we turn from our sins and we turn to the Lord, that we turn to God, and we are baptized, and we come to him, that we can be saved. That death, we don't have to fear it. We don't have to fear it because we know to whom we go. If we live in a state of grace, and we die in a state of grace. We know we will taste the resurrection. But this is what I wanted to share and encourage. And, and there will be a link in below for that song and another that will clearly tell the gospel. Thanks and I was God bless.